Hello again. Every once in a while I get I get poetic. I do. When my feelings start getting tugged at. When it comes to seeing people sleeping on the street. I think of that with somebody's baby. I have grandbabies. I can't imagine them being on the street like that and nobody giving a shit. That's why before I leave this world, I want to make sure those little babies have some money. They have some savings. They have some kind of legacy. So they're not going to be uh, have to deal with this shit. I don't want to see my grandbabies on the street. Not when I'm like an angel up in heaven. Nah, man. I just thought about that, that young lady sleeping on, you know, on the street in Newport. By the docks. And all I could think of is her guardian angels must be weeping. They must cry a lot. If angels can cry, I think they can maybe. Yeah. Her angels must cry a lot. I'm going to pray for her. And when I go back into Newport, I'm going to see what I can do. <clears throat> I can only hope maybe I can make them give a shit. I just, at what point will seeing somebody sleeping on the ground outside not shock somebody unless they're actually wanting to do it? You know what I mean? I grew up in the city. I know all about mental illness. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to walk down K Street and she's this one lady was just screaming at this bank window. It's like a huge building, high rise. And the first level was just, just a bank with this huge open windows, that, but they were like one way so you could see yourself. And she was just screaming in this window, that poor thing. I was like, just, just you could tell, she was just, yeah. People just walked by just like, I mean, I noticed, not only did I notice, I was just hurting my heart, but then everybody, I was just watching, I was watching the reactions of other people. And that hurt my heart more because nobody was like, it was just like, they. what do you do? How do you engage without hoping they don't knife you or something, right? There used to be a health center that they had where people could go to and then all of a sudden they closed them all down because they didn't have budgeting for that shit. But they got budgeting for all this other bullshit. But they don't have budgeting to, to build buildings where they can house these people, give them you know, warm beds, showers, proper food, proper counseling and health and make them feel safe, give them a warm environment, <clears throat> cozy pillows, you know, bright colors, not just white walls and shit. Just, uh... Like I said, I get poetic. And when, I, when, I, when I envision angels weeping, man, you know what I mean? Let's pray for each other, man. Let's work it out. Let's figure this out. I'm going to do what I can. I want you to have a wonderful day. I mean, obviously God is working some miracles, right? We'll get it, people. You'll get it. I want you to have a wonderful day. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is just crazy about you, baby. So just love yourself and live in light and rock it. Okay, bye.